This is a book review of Ed Brubaker's Sean Phillips' brilliant new Pulp. It's a 72-page masterpiece from the team that brings Criminal, Fatal, and many, many others. And this is from Image Comics 220. So 72 pages, brilliant. So there's the back and there's the front. So what's it about? Well, it's about Max. He's a pulp writer, writing pulp fiction back in the uh, 30s. And this is just before the brink of the Second World War. Now, in a former, former career, it's the best way to describe it, he was obviously doing much the same thing as he writes about in his fiction. And of course, now, the fiction world, pulp fiction, is sort of on a decline. His rate is getting worse and worse. And of course, he's got, he's getting older. That's the truth of the whole story, he's getting older. And things that he could do, he just can't do as well. And he suddenly thinks, well, you know what? There may be an easy way of making money. Because of course, this is from Ed Brubank, Sean Phillips. This is criminal, this is basically criminal. So there's a crime involved. And of course, there's many other complications. He's got a lovely wife and he wants to obviously help Rosa and this. Just a, it's a beautiful story with them. And there's also a bit more of his past that comes back to haunt him. And of course, as I mentioned, this is 1939 and what was happening in 1939. Well, the Second World War, of course, and the various dubious elements of the Nazi party, etc. that were in New York and obviously I'm certain many other places as well. But Max is there, and it's it's just a great, great yarn. I loved it. Actually, I, I think there's absolutely nothing. I'm just going to quickly run through the book. So uh, it starts with a brilliant bit of uh, lovely, his fiction. That's a bit that throws you initially. You think, oh, this is going to be about Westerns. You know, I say, oh, did I buy a book? Well, of course, I suppose the clue in the sense is the cover. You think, oh, this is going to be a Western. Does give that suggestion in many ways. Slightly confusing because that's an element of it that, that is obviously important because, you know, he does he wants to do the things he did when he was uh, in the world west. And, of course, now being, I don't know, 60, 70, whatever his age is in this, clearly can't. And the world has changed around him, and that's the problem with the thing. The world is changing rapidly, of course, with, with the war. And he gets involved in a variety of different things. I'm not going to say anything, but, but he's, the rate that he's being paid is minuscule now because there's competition. So obviously he's thinking, crime. I love the colouring. I love the colouring all the way through. This is by Jacob Phillips. Brilliant, brilliant colouring. And there's some just lovely scenes with him, just panels there with his like with his wife. Just beautiful, beautiful story. But he's, he's got his... Uh, the editor, the editor that obviously doesn't want to pay him, and he tells him the usual stories about, well, you know, this, and here's someone that's a younger model kind of stuff. Anyway, that all leads on to the main thrust of the story. And this is great. Just really great. Brilliant development all the way through. And I think it's just, this is just yet another one of these amazing masterpieces from 72 pages. It's quite a thin Danish book. You can read it probably in an hour, but it's one of those books you, I'm certain you will pick up and read a multiple times. It's, uh, I think it's just a lovely, lovely book. Of course, it's, it's violent in places. There's lots of violence. Not excessive amount of violence, but it's uh, there is violence there and threat, of course, of violence. And it's all set, like I say, 1930s, with a bit going back to the Wild West. Max Winter is his name. And... Well, this book isn't part of, so far as I can see, uh, the Criminal Deluxe Edition that's coming out fairly soon. There's volume three. I'm looking forward to that. And this isn't included. Some of the earlier ones, like the uh, Junkies one, etc., are included. So I'm still going to get it, that volume. And I will get any more of these volumes that they bring out. They're absolutely brilliant. Now, only criticism, the biggest criticism, is there's no introduction. I love introductions in books. And there's no extras or bonus material at the back. So one thing I love about the comics is that they always put bonus material. They talk about film or something, or maybe what books he's been reading of late. I must admit, sort of his sort of analysis of pulp fiction, westerns, etc., would have been really, really great. But uh, sadly, there's nothing like that in the back of this. And that's the only 
slight pity. And I think that's a pity with, with all these small volumes that they've brought out. Brilliant as they are, I think that uh, that would just enhance it even more. Of course, it would be even better if it was like a huge volume, but you can't expect everything. So, brilliant, superb, superb book from Edward Baker and John Phillips. Yet another classic that needs to be on most comic fans' bookshelf.